Good morning. Today we'll be looking at the Ingram Products LC family of flow monitoring uh, controllers. These products have been designed to provide flow monitoring and pump run verification to existing duplex pump controller systems. The flow monitoring products are based on the family of products uh, offered by Ingram Products. Uh, each of these products have modular hardware and firmware components, allowing us to uh, build up specialized controllers very quickly and yet retain the uh, same functionality across the entire product family. Uh, these products have an integrated HMI display, Modbus capability, and no user programming is required. They come pre-programmed and ready to install. The flow monitoring products um, are uh, connected by with a minimum of two wires going to the existing duplex controller, making them very easy to install uh, on a temporary basis if a particular system is causing problems, or uh, easily enough installed on a permanent basis if um, flow monitoring is required on the system or some of the other capabilities offered by the product. In addition to flow monitoring, we uh, support pump run verification, which ensures the pump operates within specifications. We have an integrated analog level detector, uh, allowing us to uh, improve the accuracy of the system. And it can also be used to generate five distinct uh, digital outputs, which can drive a older legacy duplex controller that uh, does not export uh, support analog signals. Finally, there's a dual uh, dual pump bubbler controller integrated in the system to allow bubbler control and reduce error requirements. The product is offered in three different forms. The LC2 is the smallest at uh, slightly lower cost. The LC3 um, is aimed at people who want to exploit the run verification capabilities. Uh, the base unit has status indicators and a uh, control signals for the bubbler, and an expansion unit allows you to add level discrimination outputs. The LC4 is very similar, but in this case the base unit has the level discriminator outputs and the expansion unit provides the status and bubbler outputs. When we speak about flow monitoring, I'll be think in terms of the inflow rate, which is really the time required for the liquid to rise up to um, the low level typically where a pump is activated. Once it has entered the um, pump activated state, uh, we then want to measure the pump flow rate, which is the time required for the liquid to go back down to the off level where the pump is disabled. Um, Many system, uh, duplex systems will have both a lead and lag pump, and so we have to allow for measuring both the lead pump rate and the lag pump rate. And finally, all these systems are used uh, known tank dimensions, which are entered and do not vary across the operation. Given the known tank dimension and the uh, known distance between the off and the low level uh, uh, pump activation points, by measuring the time it takes for the liquid to rise, we can determine the inflow rate, and by measuring the time it takes for the liquid to drop back down to the off level, we can measure the pump flow rates. It becomes somewhat more complicated when we add in a second lag pump, and we have to take into account fact that the liquid continues to flow in even while the pump is flowing out. In a simpler system, the LC2 can be connected by simply monitoring the pump activation signals from the duplex controller. Um, if it's a 24 based control system on the duplex side, then the interposing relays would not be required. If these are 120 volt activation signals, then interposing relays would be required. The status lights are purely optional. 
They can be connected up to indicate whether liquid is uh, increasing or decreasing and whether any errors are being detected, but the integrated HMI provides the same information. So in summary, we monitor the change in level over time. We use the known tank dimensions to calculate the flow volume, which can be expressed in gallons or liters, and all the dimensions of the tank are expressed in inches, feet, or meters. We track both the inflow and the outflow rate and volume. This provides a pump efficiency indication, which allows us to uh, do preventative maintenance. And we also track the minimum, maximum, and average flow rates so that we can do trending over time and uh, better tune our system to uh, the exact requirements. In the previous example, we uh, were relying on preset activation levels. We can greatly improve the accuracy by adding an analog level detection as well. In this case, we use the actual level uh, that is read when a pump is activated or deactivated instead of the preset level. The analog uh, detector can be shared by the duplex controller, or if the duplex controller is an older style that only uh, accepts uh, digital float switch inputs, we can take the analog reading from the flow monitor and feed that back in the form of a five-level discriminator um, that includes a lockout uh, to prevent pump damage, an off, low, mid, and high level. We support both analog and digital sensors. In case of analog, obviously, we uh, support both 0 to 10 volt and 4 to 20 milliamp inputs. Uh, we provide hysteresis and time filtering for the analog signal. And we support both positive and negative displacement. So if the um, voltage increases as the level increases, that would be considered positive displacement. If the voltage decreases as the level increases, that would be considered negative displacement. Pump run verification is um, a capability that monitors the pump operation to make sure that the pump continues to operate within specification. We pick up three signals for each pump. The auxiliary contact signal comes back from the pump motor starter. It verifies that it has been activated. And once it has been activated, it monitors it for a possible thermal overload if a thermal overload relay has been included. Pump current is monitored gives us a minimum maximum current range. Uh, this is a very good way to detect a uh, possible plugged pump uh, inlet or possible bearing problems, etc. Finally, we monitor uh, an input that would typically be connected to a phase error relay. Um, and this tells us if there is a uh, pending problem with the pump. The level discriminator, we actually support six levels. There's a zero lockout that prevents the pump from operating below a certain level. Uh, off, low, and mid are used to drive a, the external duplex controller. The high output would be an alarm condition. And purge is typically tied into either a sensor fault or a purge uh, block bubbler line. Uh, it, indicates that the level is above the high level and uh, some corrective action must be taken. The integrated bubbler controller uh, supports two pumps. Um, we rely on a time sampling approach. This greatly reduces the amount of airflow because air is only uh, pushed through the bubbler line when an actual sample is being taken. Uh, the bubbler supports uh, both uh, air reservoir tanks or without an air reservoir tank, uh, allowing a very low cost bubbler system to be implemented. And there's an output that's activated uh, on purge conditions that uh, would allow a uh, purging of the bubbler line if required. The HMI that uh, is available in all of the systems provides it's a display of all the system and pump statuses. It uh, greatly 
aids in pinpointing any failures, and it also allows configuring the system in the field, so no external equipment would be required. The Modbus allows us to take the monitor and link it into a, an extended network. Again, all configuration parameters and status is available across the Modbus. Finally, the, uh, the monitor products are part of the LC family, supported by the LC config. Uh, Windows application software allowing a graphic user interface to do configuration monitoring, simulation, and project management. The overall family consists of a uh, uh, level detection. Uh, we do offer duplex pump control. In this case, the monitors would be uh, connected to systems where there's an external duplex controller. Uh, run verification, and flow monitoring. This is a, uh, a view of the overall family product. In this case, the flow monitors assume that the duplex controller is an external product, uh, but all the other key components are uh, similar across the product family. Finally, we provide level detection, pump monitoring, most importantly, flow monitoring and bubbler support on any existing duplex control-based system. Uh, the package is supported with a low-cost configuration tool, and they're all uh, positioned to be very low-cost add-ons to existing systems. For further information, please go to the IngramProducts.com website and uh, review the level control products. Thank you very much.